Kane Vision welcomes in Steve Gully, who is the head track and field coach at the University of Tulsa. And it is time for the American Athletic Conference Championships. They're taking place in Cincinnati. And what's the outlook going into it, both on the men's and the ladies' side? Uh, it's hard to say because the weather can have an effect. But uh, I think we're going in a little bit healthy. We may have one or two people banged up. But I think this is what we've been aiming for all season. This is what we've been building up, even through cross country and the indoor. Uh, but we're excited. This is, as we call it, this is our final exam. The kids know uh, this is, means a lot to the university. And I think they're ready, especially being in Cincinnati. I think it's going to be a first-time trip for a lot of the athletes, and they're pretty excited. And, of course, you, you need to build up points. You need depth. And, uh, you know, when you get to the outdoor, that's even different than the indoor, isn't it? Uh, there, are, there are more events, and it's harder to, to use your depth, isn't it? I, I don't have depth, so let's just go back. I'll, I'll be probably taking 16 to 18 kids. Uh, everybody's taking 32. Mm. So I'm going in with half the deck. So it, it's way harder. So when I have to hit where I'm good at, I really have to hit. So, and, and, and that may, that, you know, not say it won't happen, but it always depends on what people choose to enter their athletes in what event. So you have a person who can run two events, the eight or the 15, which way are they going to go with it? So we hope we can have most of our events covered, um, put out their two good relays, steal the distance points, and go after some good field event points. Well, you said, you know, you, you have to pick the points where you can hit. So where can you hit and who can you hit? Who's up there at bat for you, so to speak, that may be able to get some points for you? The Ben Prisoners, the Adam Roderick's are good, uh, Mark Middleton, and then we have two good half milers. Uh, East Carolina has a good half miler. I think those three, and, and I'm sure I'm missing a good half mile in there, they could sneak in there and, and change some things up. But uh, we also have a freshman, Henry Visor, who's running really good in the intermediate hurdles. Uh, we're going to be able to put out two good relays. We, we feel on the boys' side. Um, but every year it changes, and I think right now it's Houston's year. They're a little bit more loaded, have a lot more depth, which can change from year to year. So we're going in there taking whatever we have, which is half the field, and probably go for the best job we can. On the girls, we have some people banged up. It will affect us, but we still got to go out there and put a team out there that can compete. We have some kids that are probably running for that third and fourth place. Probably maybe not a one or two, but uh, we've had some other athletes go in ranked lower and come out a lot higher. Well, and you, you do have to lean on the uh, the Gray Howards and the Ben Priestners to get you some points. And this is a great experience for your young runners too, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. Uh, they understand what uh, the conference uh, is all about. And I think the older kids talk to them. We try to have the seniors explain it. This is our rivalry, it, but it's a good rivalry. We look forward to racing the teams, and we're just going to go out there and do the best job we can. But we got to remember there's a little bit of school pride. It's just not about you personally. And Cincinnati is a new place to go to, right? You hadn't been the outdoor there, right? Yeah, and the weather's changed. I mean, we looked at it two weeks ago, and the highs looked like it was in the 70s, which we're thinking we haven't been to a conference meet that cool. Now it's creeping up <laughs> into the low 80s. Uh, that's kind of similar to what we, we've all competed other than the Houstons and the, uh, the Florida's been really, really hot. But we do run at night, um, so it is a di different atmosphere. So it could be a little bit cooler. Maybe the distance runners will like that. Sprinters may not. And as you go through this meet, are you looking for marks, so to speak? I mean, certainly you want to see guys win, and, I, and you, may, you can maybe explain whether that actually gets you into the NCAAs. But basically, a lot of times you're also looking for marks in certain levels, right, to maybe qualify you for regionals? or. How does that work? That's exactly. So there, there's athletes that are thinking about regionals, but we're, we're going back to the reverse. We want points. We want the win. If you run for the win, usually the other half will come. The right. times will come. The conference is good enough. It's gotten so much better. You add to Wichita. It has really stepped up, and I think we have to step up a little bit on that line. But, yes, normally you're racing because it could be a championship race. They may not go fast, and they'll say, okay, it's more important for me to get points. That's true. But I think deep down, all those athletes want to have a better mark so they can go to the regional meet. Yeah, I was going to say, so get points, but in points you usually uh -huh. result in good marks and yes, maybe get you, get you beyond then, head right? Head-to-head competition. Yeah. Well, good luck, Coach. Right, appreciate it. Upcoming, of course, the track and field championships in Cincinnati, and TU will be there thanks to Steve Gully, the head coach at the University of Tulsa Track.